it's not. <laughs> Shut your whore mouth. <laughs> it's always open for you. <laughs> really? Wait, is it safe to be in this session? No. Okay. Tomorrow. So who is She's Sophie? been thinking about joining, though. Um, Sophie is, uh, Sophie is got my Tuesday game. You're, You're being so fucking blatant about it, dude. Just say it. <laughs> Literally, he, he likes her and he wants her in the game. Is that it? Well, actually, um, as of yesterday, my girlfriend, so. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Oh, why did you just... Uh, See, why, why did you say you... anything? <laughs> he just walked around the bush. It's like, maybe, maybe this, that. It's like, come on, we're not in school. Just say, I got a girlfriend, guys. I want her to join. Okay. Yeah, not no, really that no, hard. There's no room. There's no room. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, um, are me and Sophie still out of chat then? Or should I, <laughs> <should> I stop? <laughs> it depends. Uh, uh, do I get the logs of the chat? <laughs> uh, then, then no, you have to stop. Fuck. <laughs> Jamie? Yeah. So you guys, I will literally you have to date, pay yeah. you to continue. Sorry? Uh, I will literally pay you to continue. <laughs> <laughs> the Kim has the money to do it. Did you see all those houses he owned in that picture? But, but, but then he wants the logs. Then. I'll take you up on that off the Kim. But then he wants the logs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's always a catch. <laughs> yeah. oh. I thought I didn't realize I was paying for that service. You're paying for that service. <laughs> I mean, there's I, girls I... in Russia that can do that for you, Kim. There's girls in the UK do it for you. I got a Russia. <laughs> That's not the same though. It's not as fun, and it's not about someone I know. Yeah, it's not as fun as you don't know the person. <laughs> this is. I think Kim's letting on that he's a voyeur now. <laughs> it's like I've been together with my missus now for three, four, five. She's gonna kill me because she's it's right there and I can't remember how long we've been together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three years oh, apparently. That's <laughs> I've been my boyfriend seven years. Yeah, there you go. So I'm not really concerned about those things. We accidentally stumbled along on our anniversary when we were scrolling through Facebook and we were like, I wonder how long we've been dating and then we looked at the date and we were like, Oh, it's today, it's been a year. <laughs> that's been my password since, so I don't forget it. <laughs> See, I, I, I always I always remember the date that I first met Joanne because I always end up confusing that date and her birthday. <laughs> Because it was your birthday when I walked into your life. Because baby. because we first <laughs> met the day before her birthday. Oh and, well. And we were and and we were talking about her party. The day that we met, so it always sticks in my head that that's her birthday, not the day after. See, that makes sense. But I don't not, like understandably get confused. Yeah. So I always think her birthday is the tenth rather than the eleventh. But, yeah. Of which month? January. Okay, cool. So it's like I always, I'm always, but to be fair, that means I'm always a day early for her birthday. Yeah, so she's like, oh, you remembered late. a day early. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the surprise I, I got. I was just cheesy. I, I got engaged on Valentine's, so I always remember the day. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, you cheesy bad. bitch. Yeah. I, I can't remember the date that we got um, engaged, but I'll always remember our anniversary date. Because I always think we should have waited another year. Because if we had waited a year, it would have been nine nine oh nine. So if you turn that upside down, thing. yeah, I see, I see, I see what you did. Okay. <laughs> waited another year, you could have done it on ten ten ten. <laughs> no, I, yeah. it would have been better. Uh, another year, you, you do Skyrim came so, out. So, so because of the fact that I always think if I add one to the year, it's nine nine nine. I always remember the nine nine part of our anniversary. So, wait, wait. If you had done ten ten ten, that's forty two. That's the answer of, to life, the universe, and everything. Oh fuck! My third eye just opened. <laughs> <laughs> no. That but sounded it... way dirty. Then it was. <laughs> I mean, 
I didn't know I Is that there. what we're calling it now, Jamie? Yeah, Jamie, if you're That's doing that, right. you need to turn your camera on. Hold on, I have a thing I can send you. <laughs> in, in reference to that. <laughs> Let me just go to the chat ahead with Madman. Remember, okay. keep logs. Yeah, and, you, and you'd probably want to do that in the Tuesday game, so you can do it while, while Sophie's here. <laughs> there you go, Joe. See you, Do you know you're muted? Damn it, don't tell him. Well, I'm just picturing what? you talking at the camera going, why are they not listening to me? No, no my dad. Are you muted for like five minutes? For dinner? You, you've been muted because you're eating dinner? Is that no, it? my dad asked me what we wanted for dinner. Oh, uh, okay. Did you tell him food? Rather than... No, we're having chili dogs. Oh, right, you're that kid. What are we going to have for dinner? Food. I, I highly I'm, 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 I'm let's, not a woman, face it, Casey. Casey. I know you will I'm track on. every single thing you eat in terms of uh, dinner, because you you have certain things that you like. Let's, uh, for example, do Friday hot dogs, and then do. Oh, I can't remember all of them. You had like a list. <laughs> I remember this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, you had a did. List. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I'm not doing hot dog Fridays anymore. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, he's the list. You're not checking the list twice now. No, the the list is updated. The, la the last couple Fridays <laughs> we've had uh, burgers instead. Ooh. Of course tonight. They go along there. with hot Wait. dogs. But you're still doing dates. Okay. Chili tonight though, so. You're still doing date night on that night though. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. The things yeah. I've learned about Casey. You guys are just all trying to talk me around things so that I don't finish the teleportation spell into the royal, aren't you? How about, recap, trying to? <laughs> huh? How about a recap? Um, we ended <laughs> of the last, last ten sessions. Teleporting. <laughs> of the last ten sessions. <laughs> you did a bunch of shit. You met a bunch of people. Now you're teleporting into the royal. Oh, great. Oh, guys, I That's all we need to know. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Alright, so... Just to add to the tension and suspense, before we cut to that, uh, we're going to cut back to the flowing flagon, where Silas is sat. Okay. Um, the rest of the group has departed. Uh, what is Silas up to? Um, how long ago did the party leave? Uh, you're probably looking at 30 to 45 minutes now. Maybe... Maybe even an hour. Well, after um, after he finishes his drink, um, Silas is gonna uh, go and see if he can pick up any information about the other uh, some of the other rumors um, okay. that he has heard of. What are you wanting to investigate? All of them. All of them. If I have enough time, um, uh, we'll start with the, um, I'll start just at the top, start with a dead town. Okay, give me an investigation roll. Good at this. Okay. Yeah, basically what you're able to pick up from the investigation is a little bit more detailed than, than what you've already heard. So, basically the impression that you get uh, seems to lead you to believe that something is going on within this, uh, this village or this town. That if someone dies within the town, traps... If that's the right word, maybe, uh, keeps their uh, spirit active and visible within the town. Okay. And these people are just continuing on with existence, but as ghosts. Okay. Weird. 
Yeah, certainly. Uh, and you also do find out basically that there is a, um, a a marked border to the town that basically encompasses this, and that if the ghosts depart that border, they vanish and and don't return. Oh, I understand now. I think I understand it now. So, so the go so people who die inside the town hang around as ghosts. If the ghost crosses that line, they disappear. Yes. Interesting. All right, and we'll do one more roll for now. So, what else would you like to investigate? Um, the first day that they're away. Uh, an odd informant. Okay, roll me an investigation on that one. Yeah. Okay, you don't pick up much more information about that one. Uh, a lot of people seem to be kind of laughing it off jokingly, thinking that, you know, they must have misheard something, or uh, that, that someone's pulling their leg, or that, um, you know, it's it's a code of some kind, maybe. But... Yeah, there are people talking about the fact that basically this talking cat seems to be giving the Lord Mayor a lot of information about what's happening in the City of Bronze. Interesting. Um, some people think, like I said, that it might be some kind of a... Um, like a cat person, maybe, from within one of the royals or you know there's weird creatures around so i think maybe it's something like that and then other people think oh yeah the lord mayor's just lost his mind and he's talking to a cat now okay all right uh so you spend your first uh, kind of day uh talking people up investigating getting that information um Quite successfully in the first case, not so much in this uh, second. Meanwhile, the rest of you guys were teleporting to the edge of the magic zone, weren't you? Yep. North of Gilcrest. Ideally out of sight. Yeah, I mean, uh, where we had marked on the map, you'd be arriving um, a few miles from Gilcrest, so you're still <coughs> yeah, fine as far as not being uh, just inside of the town. You made it worse, didn't you, Casey? Those fucking flashing lights, you made it worse. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, that's gonna be so distracting, dude. Don't know just close the window. Uh, no, nothing, just your lights. Oh, Close the what's window. Wrong with, what's wrong with my lights? Never mind, I I, I fixed it. <laughs> so basically, he can't stop watching your lights and he's driving me absolutely blonkers. <laughs> His little autistic brain's going nuts. Yeah. No, it, it's... It, it peripheral vision stuff, just forget it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no worries, <laughs> man. <laughs> Yeah, that, it, it thinks like there is just a reason I don't bother watching the screen there. <laughs> uh, so you are um, about 10 miles from <sighs> the Royal itself at this point. As you arrive, standing in kind of a, a tall, grassy area, um, you're not along, you're not on the road. Um, you just arrive kind of in an open grassy area. Well, let's, uh, let's start walking. I will say that even at ten miles out, you can see the kind of swirling storm of energy in the distance ahead of you. Uh, this, this is a, a, a cyclone of energy that extends from the ground up into the atmosphere uh, as an unbroken column of, of, of energy. 
it's a tornado, right? Uh, it's yeah, tornado like, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, and as I said, it, it's 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 a massive beacon that you can see for miles and miles. So it's, it's not hard to locate. You start walking that direction. As you do, um, whoever's in the lead, give me a perception check. Not me. Oh, I'll probably be. Uh, right. I'm, not, I'm not in the lead. I assume someone who's quite skilled. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, that would be me. I forgot. I forgot which game I was playing. I'm I'm the blue guy. Sorry, I'm in front. Together with Roach, I assume that's either next to me or uh, I'm right um, behind him or something. Actually, like that. as you arrive, something that you you do actually notice. I I, I did not mention this, but uh, I should have. Um, Roach does not arrive with you. Okay, so we're going to find Roach. So I will be walking in front. Oh, Jake. That's, uh, that's worrying. I'll replace Roach's perception then. I've got expertise. Uh, sorry, just finding my character. I, I assume nobody else is going to argue with me going in front. I mean, I'm it wouldn't little... matter. You just charge in front. No one. We can't catch you. I know. <laughs> but... It's not like we try to grab you and push you back, and you just like worm out of it. Uh, uh, yeah, that's my perception. Oh, not bad. Okay, both of you actually notice as you start walking towards the um, towards the royal, you're walking through an open grassy field. Grass probably comes up about to nearly waist height. But you start noticing as you're walking almost if you ever seen like a heat shimmer on a road, you start looking out ahead of you and you see a heat shimmer and you see another heat shimmer. But then as you start focusing in on them, you look through and, and through one of the heat shimmers, you see snow. And, and through another one, you see what looks like ocean uh, these are rifts i imagine or some sort of portals i will roll an arcana with royal vision on so for detect magic these appear to be natural tears <clears throat> in the dimensional fabric Is this is probably common, I imagine, um, right? It's, it's, it's or often, not not common. It's often said that a lot of the creatures that appear in Roy in, in the Royals appear through tears in in the air. Uh, oh, I oh, didn't see. I came through things like that. Yes, I imagine so. This one, it, you said it was ocean and blizzard. The two nearest ones are are a snowy. Kind of tundra and the ocean. Much the appeal of them. I probably didn't came from from that Definitely. specific area, but yeah. But so they they're kind of cool. Should we go in? There? Should we go check them? No, <gasps> but stay away because we there could be some sort of backlash or. Oh, okay. If something comes through, be ready. All right. So wait, wait, wait. So if a baby comes through, what should I do? Be ready. Okay. I take off my stun batons. I will. No, don't fucking hit the baby. <laughs> what are you thinking? What, what do you mean, be ready then? It's probably going to fall from the portal, so you need to dive and catch it. Okay, okay. <sighs> I was it is going to need a new mother, after all. I was worried I was going to have to hit the baby, you know? No, I, I would. Oh my god. Keegan's Did just that teleport hurt you? Laughing and, and, and shaking his head. Oh, oh, I, I imagine if I use. Let's steer Sorry. clear of. Let's steer clear of them and uh, get to the goal. 
Got your mouth to glyph, sir. I imagine if I use Royal Vision, it's blinding, pretty much, isn't it? Um, not so much yet. It's As you brighter, get closer, though. it will start becoming worse, yes. Yeah. Cool. Let's um, go. We will avoid the portals. Or I'm going to take out my pipe of smoke monsters and start... Um, I'm going to light it as I'm walking along. Now, here's something interesting. Is, is it possible to see... Basically, is it just a, a rift that displays kind of where it is? Or could you see other things on the other side? Like, could you see movement of creatures or anything? Could anyone else... Um, you, you look through and you do see motion on the other side. You do, it looks like you are kind of almost looking through a window into another place. Okay, I get away from it though. Okay. And we continue on? You continue on. Delete this ga gambler's wager. <laughs> need that anymore. Nope. Um, you continue on making your way carefully around these kind of tears as you see them. Uh, luckily, with your perception and with royal vision, they, they fairly well stand out. Um, you do notice a couple of them as you're walking, new ones blinking into existence, old ones fading away. You, you get the impression that these are not stable in any form. They, right. they they flicker in. You watch one stays only for about a minute and then is gone again. Uh, there are a couple of them that remain exactly as they are for the entire time it takes you to walk past them and beyond. Um, you know, anywhere from a minute to a day, maybe. You don't really know. Um, but you continue walking past them and navigate through them without any incident. Um... You continue on for a couple hours, uh, 10 miles, you're probably looking at about, because you're going at a slow pace, you're probably going to cover that in, in maybe three, four hours. Um, ooh. Don't say that, Casey. Every time you say, ooh, it's something bad happens. <laughs> Give me another perception check for a couple hours later. Uh, for just the people who are... Oh, okay. Sorry. No, yeah, if he wanted to, then... Apparently I see stuff. Can I also roll, or...? Yeah, I mean, everyone else has rolled, so you might as well. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zephyr, you're the only one that notices this. Yeah. You, you've come out of the area that had all of the tears in it. Okay. And you notice up ahead of you something that looks... Maybe not necessarily unnatural, but it looks out of place where you are. You see a large boulder on the ground... That is almost okay. glowing, but not as in like a, a a a magical kind of light glow, but more of it looks like a boulder that's been heated up so hot that it's still kind of glowing red. Oof. Okay. And it's on the ground. It's probably about. Nine, ten feet tall, blackened grass in a circle around it. Uh -huh. And it looks like it's kind of impacted on the ground. This is the part where we just go around. Right? Uh, uh, well, I don't see it, right? No, so only I'm, Zephyr I'm just going to continue. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'm going to stand there, like, looking at this thing a bit. I... I don't hey. understand this. Blue boy, come on, let's go, quickly. But, but Master Dwarf. What? I don't really understand this place. I mean, look at that. And I as, don't get it. As, as he's saying, look at that, 
And as Keegan turns to look, uh, you see the boulder start to move. Oh. Okay, now this is the part where we all step back. Well, we're not so it like, even moved. directly so near moved. it. But, You're about yeah. 50 feet from it. Still stay away uh, from it. What does it look like now? What? It, how do you mean move? Is it like rolling or? Uh, at, at the moment, the first thing is like it just shifts slightly. Um, and, and almost seems to raise up a little bit taller than it originally was. I, I go, hello? Okay, you, you say hello. Yep. Uh... Fuck, I wish I smoke, spoke primordial. I, I doubt. Well, yeah, I guess primordial would be it, yeah. If this is a elemental. Yeah, if. Not to speak it, but I do. <laughs> you, um, you kind of shout at it, and then you, as you're watching, you look and almost, you realize now that it's not even so much maybe moving, but you get almost the impression of the rock is still so hot that it's semi-liquid and it's uh. shifting shape and you actually watch as a smaller kind of orb begins to form out of the top of it. Whoa. Uh, what yeah, kind of magical aura is it giving off with Royal Vision? Lots of them. Lots of them? Good. Yeah. Uh, can I identify what the fuck this could be? Uh, you get uh, enchantment, you get divination, you get uh, in, uh, invocation, you get um, pretty much everything but necromancy, actually. Oh, okay. That's a plus, I uh, guess. Uh, I, I shout out, say or not shout, but I say to the group, that thing is giving off exceedingly high magic. Uh, and... As you're saying that, everyone's kind of looking at it now, and you watch as it begins to raise up, and it starts to take on a very kind of rough, kind of clay creature, uh, humanoid shape. Does misclick. I have shape water. Guys, should I splash some water on it? <laughs> no. I, I go, um... Hello again. Hi. I I, I do this very same. slowly moving around it to try and like, you know, get away from it. Uh, I I speak Sylvan and Elvish to it to see how it responds. Basically the same thing, just saying hello and identify yourself. Okay. As it raises look at them up and, and looks at you. Uh, you see it begins to look a bit like that. Oh. 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 I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk up to it and I'm gonna stand in like the same position and I'm gonna uh, speak in primordial. You're so cool. This is not... Zephyr, get the hell back. Uh, and as you do that... Let me just... Yeah, I'm, I'm like, slowly making my way around it towards the royal a little bit more. As as you kind of walk up and start talking to it... What is going on with... Hold on. I'm so fucked, aren't I? <laughs> this is frustratingly being... stupid. I, I do actually have Ray of Frost, so that'll help, I think. <laughs> Cantrip, yeah, good job. Well, yeah, it's 2d8 and slowed every turn. Mm -hmm. No save. Sorry, I don't have a big hammer or anything, Mr. <laughs> 
Why don't you go craft yourself one so you can fight this thing? I, I, I will, maybe. And uh, well, I do have something else. You wanna elaborate? Because I don't think it's friendly. Even though it's letting us have this really long out, long drawn out conversation. I have a big gun. What? A big gun. I... Keegan, I don't care about your sexual exploits. Please keep it to yourself. Stupid elf. I mean an actual gun. I show him the glow lab pistol. Oh, that's disgusting. And as and as that's happening, as as that's I turn happening, it to frost. Uh, you're turning that to frost, okay? And as that's happening, this thing starts to kind of slowly shift. Um, as Zephyr, as you're looking up at it, and then it seems to move lightning fast, just out of nowhere, and just slams a fist down on Zephyr. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Initiative. Yeah. Initiative. 14 doesn't hit, thankfully. Yeah, it, it misses. Uh, this huge stone fist just impacts the ground in front of you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, a little, Adam, I'm gonna look at him. I'm gonna give him the finger. Oi! How tall is this thing? Like what? Fifteen uh, feet? About twelve to fifteen feet. Oh, oh that's shit. it's a royal elemental. Yeah, it is. So uh, as it does, I'm gonna say, showing the finger. I was standing there. Uh, and that's yeah, that's gonna be initiative. Oh, I don't know if. God. Wow, I rolled a two on my initiative. Is this the CR22 creature, Casey? No. Uh, Casey, mm -hmm. I'm going to be rude and say that that's a 17. It doesn't add my extra plus five. I've got plus 10 to initiative, but it only gives me a plus five. Right, okay. Why is it not doing that? You can change that in your sheet. Yeah, I have, but it doesn't. still doesn't do it. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. You know what's probably... The, the thing is, um, if you if you click on the modifiers... Uh, you have to put it on the, the last box rather than the first yeah. box. Oh, yeah, I probably did the... the, <coughs> the modifier wrong. Mm -hmm. So, let's have a look at the modifier, sir. Oh, thank God, we all go before it! <laughs> yeah! Oh, no! There's another one! <laughs> oh, fuck. Is that the CR-22? <laughs> You don't. Uh, I do um, know, Casey, because I saw the first Royal Elemental ever created. It started killing everyone. This is true. It this doesn't look like this, does it? God, no. Oh, God. Okay. It's way worse. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I would say... It is the Royal. You're ready to fight it. Most Elementals are challenged like five. This is probably like ten. Uh, we got this, guys. Those are the basic elementals, are you? Uh, you said Keegan? it was starting to. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Keegan, you're up. I want to try and identify I this thing and its weaknesses and all that. <sighs> Damn it! All my modifiers have gone to shit. Can I, can I try and? Have you got a skill for that, or are you just trying to work Arcana? it out? Okay, just trying to use our content. No, I'm just, I just, I just want to know, yeah, I just want to figure out what the fuck this thing is, and maybe if, if I can figure out what that is, then maybe I could try and find, like, a weakness of okay. some sort. I don't know. Uh, roll me Arcana. That will be your initial action, to, to That's watch fine. it and try That's to... That's fine. 26. Okay. Nice. Um, it certainly seems to be an elemental creature of some kind. <clears throat> and from what you can see of it, you can observe that it seems to contain elements of all of the elements, but predominantly earth and fire. Right. Uh, would I say that maybe cooling it down with, with frost damage would do, would do better, or... Because of the composition of the royal elemental, it might not be that uh, way. Well, you can you can see that it does still contain 
water as well, which is part of the flowing nature of it. Um, right. But that water or cold would probably still be more effective than, for example, fire. Okay. I Yeah, I, I say, in me, in, like, I'm going to yell out, basically, you know, use anything you got that's frost on that thing. Frost! I'm like Frost! <laughs> well, fuck it. Not and, literally. Uh, it's water. I'm, You're not, lightning. Not literally, though. And uh, I'm moving over here, so. Okay. Uh, Zephyr, you are up next. Right. Um. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just reading what it does. <clears throat> So you can, and I can use natural weapons with that. So if I do that, that orb that's inside of it, though. So it, 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 it's 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 large now, case isn't it? It is large, yes. Yeah. So if I become small, do I get a bonus defense versus it? Uh, no, because five feet got rid of that, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no size bonus anymore. There's no size the disadvantage for being size, for example. Nope. The only thing it applies to is uh, melee is weapon damage for if you're a larger creature. All right, so uh, my natural weapons wouldn't change any, I would, I guess. Uh, they uh, would. They'd get worse. <laughs> yeah, they would. Oh no, yeah, they, they would get worse actually by one. Yeah, if you go smaller. You... Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm talking about if I went bigger, because I can go one size bigger. Or smaller. No, they'd get be they'd get better. Yeah, because yeah, I do one... two. To one die type. One die size. One die size crease, so I would do three this extent this extent. Uh, I can find oh, those no, uh, damage charts. Not not additional die. Right? Hold on. So it go from two D six to two D eight. Correct, yeah, not wait, oh, okay, wait, yeah, no, that's, yeah. that's 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 three point five rules. In this it's it's a die increase. Well I've been doing it wrong this entire size. time. <laughs> Sorry, that, that's why I'm asking, because if I go a size big as well. Well, yeah, I'm looking if you for look the at any of the, if you look at any of the monsters, they've actually changed it so that it's like if you have a a, a giant club for an ogre, it's two d ten instead of. Holy uh, shit! Are you kidding me? Well, yeah, it goes up a die step, step, not a die size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Casey, this is my natural weapons. I assume that would give me. Uh, I'm just rolling for rolling. I'm not rolling to hit. So I assume that would be three to six then. Yeah. Yeah, three to six then. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do that. Because I can attack while in my form, so I'm gonna use mutable form. But since I have improved, Hi, man, man. Oh, hey, I'm man, gonna, man, what's going I'm, on, man? I'm gonna grow what? one yeah. size, Did and I, I can only, I can only damage through natural weapons. But I can damage already... through natural weapons. Madman's already told me he'll be about an hour before he's home. But okay, cool. so these are my actual attacks, Casey. I got three of them. That's very true. Um, I'm wow. gonna have my my phone, but let me know if uh, I make right. too much uh, noise. Cool, madman. You good? Just mute yourself. Huh? Just mute yourself, and then when you want to talk, you unmute wow, yourself. Wow, that's some bad rules oh, right there. Yeah. That's very bad. Yeah. Uh, hit me if you need to. That's the extra damage for the twenty-six. So you take a swing. Miss completely, smack into the ground. I'm just gonna check your AC. I've forgotten now. Your second strike, uh, I'm actually saying you take with disadvantage because you're off balance from the first strike. But with the disadvantage, okay. you still just manage to clip it. But don't do uh, a great deal of damage with that strike. Uh, and then you're going to swing around for a third attack and once again completely miss, finding yourself um, basically. I'm, I'm not going to say prone, but I'm going to say you're off balance enough that it takes up half of your movement. Yeah, that's fine. Just I'm not, you're, I'm... you're way out of sorts. I'm not gonna do much anyhow because I can't use any weapons in this form, so I can only use this. So, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take whatever comes my way. 
I'm pretty tanky like this anyhow. So I found the rules. The size, the dice doesn't change at all. You just double them if they go from medium to large. Right. What? So we get yep. four. Because so your weapons are bigger. Yep. Jesus fucking. If you're huge, Christ. it triples. If you're gargantuan, it quadru quadruples. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Okay, there's the extra damage on KC. That's not yeah. extra. Rick would have been so much better. Holy fuck. H hang on, Taylor. I think uh, at least in 3.5, there are different rules between. This is 5e, uh, though, PCs. and I'm. Okay. There's no other rule for this. This is the only place well, no, 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 no. Well, no, no, no. There, there is a rule for uh, for players in yeah, that and then, if your and size increases yeah. via magic, right? Yeah. If your size increases yeah. via magic, you gain a D4 onto your onto your damage. Um, That's however, if it's spell. natural, yes. No, a large spell doesn't mention that. Yes, it no, does. No. The, in, Here it in is. large, it does. Yeah. Uh, but however, if it's natural, then you do that. Because okay, so that's monster. The... Yeah. Those yeah, that's monster. monster rules. Yeah, monster rules. And now, Even Casey, though... the the timer is five, so I can stay like this for five rounds. Got it. Yeah, I guess because your weapon doesn't... Even... Eh, eh. <laughs> I've known this for a while. That's... <laughs> I've been doing that. I've been using that. Right, okay, so you, yeah, you managed to clip it. Um, it doesn't seem overly to notice, but... That's fine. <clears throat> uh, now, while you're attacking this one, you kind of spin off balance. And as you do, you look off ahead, and at first you think your vision might be a bit blurry, because you're seeing a lot of kind of blue-white glow, and it's almost like, you know... Have I got have I got a hand in front of my face and I'm not noticing it or something? Uh, but then you actually realize that another creature has appeared off to the side. Oh, good. And you watch as this kind of swirling mass of what looks like electrical energy <laughs> stares down at you. I just go... Oh fuck! Wait, 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 what kind of uh, energy? Electrical? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Right over there. Are you immune to electricity, though, lightning? I'm immune to all electricity. Yeah, all let's swap. Electricity. You and he can swap. <laughs> 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 so, but I'm not I do, immune to being I, punched in the face, guys. No, <laughs> and I, I, I also do air and lightning damage. I do lightning yeah, damage back, so it's not like you're gonna go anywhere. Very... Stalemate! <laughs> Keegan has very clearly taken some to the nose, so he can handle it. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. Please? Uh, yeah. Aiden, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm getting the fuck away from that thing immediately. <laughs> immediately, so bye. I move over here, 30 feet. <clears throat> and... Wait, what are you getting away from? You're running close well, to it. Well, yeah, is are. it... Wait, what? Oh shit, I thought it was in front of. Um, he just ran I thought it was in front of him. Get away. <laughs> no, it's. Oh, so I'm... Silas isn't here, is he? No. no. I had originally dropped his token on the board just so if he wanted to watch the combat, he'd have a sight. Well, I was uh, very oh. clearly getting into a better position to, to magic this thing, obviously. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Rip it apart with royal energies, because it's, you know, you could control royal, and it's a royal thing, right? That's how it works. You're royal. master of a royal, and uh, this is the, You can control it! No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh, I will... Mirror image. This is four of me now. And... No, there's eight of because <laughs> you're in the world now. Whatever. I'm, I'm just... He becomes a mirror. I should have chaos affected it, because it could have given me something, but... Alright, yeah, that's uh, that's my turn, because I don't have a minor action. Okay. Or a bonus action. Spell. Please kill these things. <laughs> Dude, what's the matter, Doc? Kind of scared. <laughs> oh, wait, is Zephyr hurt? No, the ground in front of him got punched. 
Oh, okay. How many of you are there now? What? Four. Four. There. Okay. There we go. Oh no no no! Sorry. This isn't is this isn't the duplicate one. This is just the one that like. It's an illusion. Yeah. The, yeah. It no. Splits I know. I'm just I'm just putting them there so that I can <coughs> keep track. Oh. Okay. So you can remember. Yeah. Fair enough. That's the one. Yeah. No. I was just putting the extra copies there to keep track of as they disappear. Cool. Uh, Korag, you're up. Woo! I've never fought these things before. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna... I'm gonna move back into this corner of the map. It's like, nah, I don't wanna be near those. I'm gonna pull out my rifle and... Oh, shit. A burst fire is a... What's burst fire again? I don't remember. It's like a cone for burst fire. Oh, okay, I'll just do a single shot then. Okay, first off, roll me a D100. Uh, oh, Technology good. is not efficient in the medic zone. Okay, it fires. Thanks. Have good. about it, it's a bitch. Okay, shit, you fucking did it. Alright, cool for you. <laughs> <laughs> Madman has not been able to pull that off yet. <laughs> the one biker. Which one are you hitting? No, no. Well, no, it, no, no. you know, it's it makes it really inefficient to commit genocide when your weapons don't work, huh, man? <laughs> <laughs> so why well, will this flamethrower work? Seager, I don't use that kind of weaponry. Really, yes, I gotta do this the hard way. <laughs> don't fucking put me in, in, in league with those guys. You're, you're in, in the, you're in the same party as them. You're going towards them right now. No, he's not. Or, well, no, you're not here with us. So. He, he has to get back from here by morning to go do that. And he's lost. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. It's not the easy. I'm sorry. Uh, which one were you hitting? Corey? Did it look like it resisted it? The one near Zephyr, he said. Yeah. Okay, so the earth and that fire one. one. Mm -hmm. Um, You hit it. It doesn't seem especially effective. But I mean, it does blow some chunks out of it. The thing is, because oh, it's kind okay. of almost a liquidy rock metal thing, it, it kind of blows a hole in mm -hmm. it, and then you watch as it kind of knits back together a bit. That's not good. The quarter kind of refills like a hole. Yeah. Looks, looks kind of like the T-1000 when it gets shot. Oh, hey, look, it's going to morph its arms, too! Okay. I love for it to just, like, morph itself into a laser rifle and triple boom. <laughs> that's it's like, oh, back. that's wrong. <laughs> it's like, ah! Oh. It takes my ammo and shoots me with it. Alright, the game's frozen on rolling a die. For sure. Roll 20 hates me. There we go. Can you guys still hear me? What? This uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. cut out for a little. Cut out Your little. camera's a bit frozen. That's oh, better now, though. Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. Everything went silent for a second, and I thought, okay, there's no reason, these, there's no way these people are actually being quiet. Calm down, Flash! <laughs> Sorry, it lagged. All right. You did that thing where it's, you spoke real fast. Uh, the elemental is going to attack Zephyr again. Uh, uh. No. Okay. Keegan, you're up. So, Katie. Mm -hmm. uh, never mind, that was just. Uh, doesn't matter. Keegan is going to, now that it is, uh, frost damage, uh, he is going to attack with the glow lock pistol from range. Um, yeah. Dang. Uh, 
Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Quick, enlarge yourself. <laughs> so go ahead and do four. Um, I still have another attack. <laughs> do it! Yeah. Another 20 and, and then 33. Ah, uh, well, what that was a shit roll. Only 33 damage. <laughs> 98 frost. And with that, you watch this thing splash outwards at, in, in, in puddles of itself. Uh, Zephyr. Oh, you are lagging me... again. Better? Oh. Not sure what he wants me to give him, but I'll give him whatever he asks. Hello? Uh, I'm gonna give you something. You're still bad. I don't know. Ah, oh, shit, my mic is muted. No, you're still cutting out pretty bad. Any better? Who's hosting the call? Uh, I, I tried to, but I let it someone else have it. So, oh. do you want to try hosting it? I guess. Uh, Casey, does that sound alright? Yeah. Alright. 